This is Christopher Cernike hosting episode 21 of season 5 of the Current Topics in Science podcast. This podcast will address breaking scientific news in light of the origins debate and host interviews with scientists. Today we'll be learning about the incredible science of biomimicry and ants. This podcast is available on the following platforms, iTunes, Stitcher, Google Podcasts, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Video recordings of the podcast be uploaded to YouTube. Enjoy the podcast. Did you know that at one point, George Lucas and Steven Spielberg were considering calling the fourth installment in the Indiana Jones series, Indiana Jones and the Attack of the Giant Ants? At least, that was one of the titles they workshopped together before settling on Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. The Indiana Jones movie, spoiler alert, does end up involving ants and interdimensional beings, and it's an entertaining creative work. However, did you know that ants have actually been sent to space? The BBC has an article called Ants in Space Grapple Well with Zero G. The article says the ants were sent aloft in a supply rocket in January 2014 and results from the experiments are published in the journal Frontiers in Ecology and Evolution. What the researchers found was that the ants showed an impressive knack for regaining their footing after taking a zero-g tumble. Not only that, but the ants showed a remarkable ability to get their six feet back on solid ground. Professor Gordon, a biologist at Stanford University, commented on the space-venturing ants saying, Sometimes they would grab onto another ant and climb back down, and sometimes they somehow managed to just flatten themselves back onto the surface. I think the biomechanics of that are interesting. Space.com also had some interesting commentary on these ants, saying that observing them will help scientists to find real-world solutions. Megan Goner, the writer for Space.com, said, The experiment will analyze whether ants in weightlessness swarm like they do on Earth, with ground controls in the form of ant farms in K-12 classrooms around the world. According to NASA, analyzing how ants intelligently swarm could lead to better mathematical solutions to route trucks and schedule airline flights, among other complex real-world problems. Ants are unimaginably complex, and they have numerous design features. Ants, according to the Guinness Book of World Records, are actually faster than Usain Bolt by comparison. The record book shows that this enables the insects to execute 47 strides per second. Compare that to Usain Bolt's four strides. A recent article by Science Tech Daily called Insect Superheroes, Researchers Unearthed Secrets of Leaf-Cutting Ants, says that these tiny powerhouses can haul leaf fragments weighing up to six times their own body mass, which they use to foster fungus growth in their nests. The Journal of Experimental Biology explained that each ant keeps track of the position of the leaf edge by gripping it with their rear legs while pivoting their bodies as they trim to cut perfect leaf portions. An ant strength is due to the amazing mathematical precision of their design. According to biologist Cody Guitard, it's astounding how even the smallest creatures can accomplish some of the most amazing feats. However, this is part of the well-known square cube law, first discovered by Galileo, that is, Strength of both muscle and skeleton depends on the cross-sectional area, which is proportional to the square of the length. The mass is proportional to the cube of the length. Since ants are so small, they're also light, so their muscles don't need to support much of their own weight. So, that can be used to carry much more outside weight. All the same, such amazing designs as the ant strength surely testify of an intelligent designer. In an article by Dr. Sarfati called, Ants Find Their Way by Advanced Mathematics, he wrote that the Saharan desert ant often travels hundreds of meters in a zigzag path to food, but it can find its way back to its nest over a different route, despite the near lack of landmarks. Dr. Sarfati explained, 
the evidence is consistent with ants having a built-in odometer that performs a complicated mathematical operation called path integration. That is, the journey is divided into small vectors, each with a certain length and direction, and they're added to give a homing vector that gives a direction and total distance to the nest. By the way, an odometer is an instrument used for measuring the distance traveled by a vehicle, such as a bicycle or a car. Dr. Sarfati continues, saying that this means that the ants apparently calculate the horizontal projection of the distance traveled. That is, the image of the ants' travel vectors is projected onto an imaginary flat screen underneath the ants' terrain, and the path integration is performed in this XY plane. To do this, the ants must have a way of estimating the slopes and multiplying the travel distance by the cosine of the angle of inclination to work out the corresponding group distance. The ants probably use the internal sense called proprioception, which animals and humans use to determine the location of their body parts. Ants probably measure slopes by the same means as they sense gravity. In other words, by proprioceptors on various joints between moving parts. Whether the ants are using horizontal path integration or a fully 3D integration, this still involves advanced programming. It's common sense to believe that a program requires a programmer. This amazing programming is now being adopted by researchers and tech scientists. According to journalist Denise O'Leary, computer programmers have adapted ant algorithms to the computer. That just goes to show that ants are an absolutely amazing wonder of design. In fact, the whole of the natural world is. Take it from a scientist who studies biomimicry, the science of copying the designs of nature to help humanity build better machines. I'm not talking about Scott Lang, the scientist turned Ant-Man. I'm talking about Janine Benyus, who said we live in a competent universe. We are part of a brilliant planet, and we're surrounded by genius. Indeed, as the Holy Spirit inspired Solomon to write, we would do well to go to the ant, consider her ways, and be wise. And to our listeners, Thank you very much for taking the time to learn with us on current topics in science, where scientific discoveries are examined in light of the origins issue. Please share and subscribe to the Current Topics in Science podcast, and check out the Christ Jesus Ministries merch store. This podcast is available on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Podcasts, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Thanks again for listening, and remember, the truth saves.